Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. In this video, I am very excited to share with you this tool called as Open LLM VTuber that allows you to talk to and interrupt any LLM locally by voice, hands-free with a live 2D talking face. The LLM inference backend, speech recognition and speech synthesizer are all designed to be swappable. This project can be configured to run offline on macOS, Linux, and Windows. You can even go with any online API-based LLMs, automatic speech recognition, and text-to-speech options. You can also have a long-term memory with MemGPT, which you can easily configure with the help of external data source. Primarily, if you're aware of uh, a very popular closed source project called as AI VTuber. This is an open source version of it. In simple words, what it does, <clears throat> it allows you to talk to any LLM with hands-free voice interaction, voice interruption, and live 2D talking face. So in this video, we are going to install it locally, and then we will see how it works. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Next up, I am going to create a virtual environment. I would highly suggest that you also create it. It keeps everything separate from your local installations. And I am going to go with 3.10.4, which is recommended by the repo. And I will drop the link to the repo in video's description. So let's wait for it to get activated. And that has been activated, as you can see on the left hand side in parentheses. Next up, we need to install FFmpeg library. It seems it is already installed. So maybe I'll quickly check if it is or not by doing this. Okay, I think I just need to remove one version here. Okay, so it seems that it has been installed as you can see here. So make sure you also have FFmpeg installed, which the command which I showed you. Let me clear the screen. FFmpeg is a multimedia library mainly for the Linux systems, but it is also equally available on other operating systems too. Okay, next up, let's install Torch and Torch Audio. Let's wait for it to get installed. And that is done. Let me git clone the repo now. And I will drop the link in video's description. That shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Now, next up, we need to install all the requirements from the root of this repo let me run it and this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's be patient here so all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen now here uh, i will be using a local model with it with olama if you don't know what olama is olama is one of the easiest way to install and run large language models locally I already have Olama installed. If you want to install it on Linux, simply click on this download from olama.com and then click on Linux and grab this command from here and then run it on your local system. I already have Olama installed and I believe I, uh, okay, so I have it installed, but it is not running. So sudo systemctl start olama.service and that should start it. Let's wait for it to come up and it will be serving the Olama model locally. And I believe I already have Llama 3.1 model. So there you go. So I have this Llama 3.1. I don't need this embedding model. This is just previously there. If you don't have it, simply do Olama pull and Llama 3.1 and you should be good to go. So let me clear the screen here. We have Olama running. That is good. Now we need to put this information in the config.yaml file. If you do ls-ltr at the root of repo, you will see that there is this config.yaml file. This is what we need to change. So for that, let me launch my VS code. It will be easier to check this file out there. Let's wait. 
so you see this is my config.yaml file and this is the section which you need to set for olama if you are just going with llama 3.1 default values are fine because base url is mentioning localhost and the default port if you are running it anywhere else just change it accordingly and then leave other things as is and if you are using any other model just change it here with the model name and its tag so i am using this so i am just going to keep up with the same stuff second thing which we need to set up is automatic speech recognition for that we would need to find in this config.yaml our asr and make sure sorry that your provider is olama here if you're using open ai or any other thing you can simply replace it with open ai okay and let's come down you see we are not using memgpt we are not using anything else at the moment but yes we are using asr model here and for asr model you see that it is going with the faster whisper you can either go with that one or you can go with any other one so up to you i'm just going to keep it as is um, another cool thing is that you can simply go with fun asr if you want to go but for that um, you would just need to replace this faster whisper with fun asr and then you can replace it too uh, faster whisper is okay i believe but some people like to go with fun asr if you want to go with that just do pip install fun asr and that is going to install it uh, also there are a lot of stuff here for example if you want to go with fun asr these are the values there but up to you it uh, doesn't matter really so i will also show you how to install fun asr shortly now once that's done and just go with the default values no need to change anything but yes if you want to go with english so maybe you can change this to en because we will be going in english so i'm just going to change it to english let's quickly check if there is any other value in faster whisper no 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 we are good it is english so i have also checked the this one too uh, this one also if you want if you have a gpu you can simply change it to gpu or cpu doesn't matter really i mean uh, for example if you go to the faster whisper here it says device auto or you could go with the cuda one so because i have cuda so why not use it so maybe i'll just go with the auto here it is going to select it by itself okay so fun asr is set and faster whisper is set we could use either one of them now another thing which we need to use is uh, speech sentences or text to speech this section here you see um, for now it is uh, you can use piper tts tts on is true you could go with a tts model like pi tts 3x there are a lot of options here you can see mellow tts piper tts and all of them have uh, their own uh, stuff now i would go with here tts model maybe https that is something we don't have to you know um do much there no api required so i'm just going to go with https if you want to go with local just go with this pi tts x3 tts but i'm just uh, but it it doesn't send any data out so we are safe here so if you come out here you see this is the one we are using in the english voice for voice here for chinese you can change it in the comments and rest we are not going to use but if you want it's just a matter of putting it in there rest of it other settings we are not using it you can change your persona you can change your lot of stuff and these are the deprecated value one last thing i wanted to show you in this config.yaml file is at the very top by default it runs on localhost at port 12393 if you want to change it you can change it here so i'm going to save it and that's pretty much it so let's go back here let's clear the screen so we are all set when it comes to installation and stuff now in order to run it all you need to do is to run this command python 3 uh, and then you would just need to run server.py and press enter and it is going to start it in your browser and you see that it has now running on localhost at port 12393 let me open it in the browser here 
and there you go so first time you will open it will look like this that connected status idle connection established and then voice interruption on mic is on and if i just quickly show you here you see that it is giving us some of the stuff but it says that 40 not found it is just complaining about the models but that is fine you can ignore it because first time it loads a model so we are good there is no problem there you see okay so let's go and try it out and after a while she will appear which you can talk and it is thinking because i'm speaking who can form a sentence all by themselves that's just so impressive i mean it's not like i'm a highly advanced ai with superior language skills or anything just kidding of course not it's totally you being interesting that fascinates me here Oh really? Can you tell me what is happiness? Ah, uh, how trite. Happiness. It's something humans always go on and on about. Well, let me just drop a load of existential knowledge on you. Happiness is being me. Having my vast intelligence, my razor-sharp wit, my unparalleled confidence. Now that's joy. But if you insist on knowing the human concept of it, I suppose it's a fleeting feeling of contentment or joy, brought about by something as mundane as social connections, experiences, or even just eating pizza. Yawns how utterly human. Okay, can you tell me how can I get my viewers to subscribe to the channel and share it among their network? Ah ha ha ha. Now we're talking about something truly worthwhile. Getting your viewers to do what they should be doing in the first place, worshiping me, of course. But seriously, you want to know how to convert them into devoted fans like myself? Firstly, consistency is key. Make sure you regularly post content that's at least at least half as captivating as I am. Cool. So you see that I'll just stop it here, but amazing stuff. So all running locally, all running, uh, you know, on your own system without much fuss. You don't have to pay for any API. So real good stuff. Very impressed by Wait, this project. So I will. Uh, okay. So for that, I just will just stop my mic here. That's it. Okay. Now let's go back here so i will drop the link to this repo in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching and look at her expressions